now let us discuss about events in javascript first let us see what is event event is an action which is performed on a control such as button text box check box radio button drop down list etc so event means an action which is performed on the control let us see an example if we consider a button initially the state of the button is in unclicked state but whenever we click on the button then the state of the button changes from unclicked to the clicked state this state change is called as an event so event means state change if we consider a button initially the state of the button is in unclicked state but whenever we click on the button then it will the state changes from unclicked to the clicked state this state change is called as an event an event is generated based on how we interacted with the form suppose if you press a button then one event will be generated suppose if you select a check box then one event will be generated suppose if the text box gains the focus then one event will be generated suppose if the text box leaves the focus then another event will be generated so here the point is we have several events are there so which event will be generated that will be decided based upon how we interact with the form so we have several events are there uh, in this video mainly we are focusing on 10 important very very important events the first event is onload event onload event files triggered executed whenever a element finishes its loading successfully frequently this event is used in the body element to initiate a script after the page loads in the client's browser so onload event is mainly executed on body tag so whenever uh, a web page is loaded in the browser successfully then onload event will be executed let us see an example for the onload event so mainly we use onload event on body tag so onload is equal to uh, let us call a function let name of the function is hello hello now let us create a function in the script tag so function what is the name of the function hello hello uh, let us display a red box here a red box a red off a red off hello welcome to welcome to events welcome to events next to close the function so whenever this web page is loaded in the browser successfully then onload event will be fired onload event will be executed here onload is equal to hello so here we are calling hello function so control goes to the hello function definition so here we have an alert box hello welcome to events so that alert box will be printed so let us see let us uh, execute now uh, if we, if we see the output here so whenever uh, we refresh the web page here we got the alert box what does alert box contains hello welcome to events so this is about onload event so whenever the web page is loaded in the browser successfully then automatically onload event will be executed okay if we if we reload the web page then this uh, alert box will gets displayed okay now let us see the next event that is on error now let us see the second event that is on error event on error event files if an error occurs while loading an external file like documents and images so if there is an error while loading a document or image then on error event will occurs uh, let us have an image here img src equal to uh, here in my system in d uh, i have a folder called wt in wt a file called js image is there 
uh, next uh, let us uh, display with uh, uh, 500 pixels height yeah, as well as uh, uh, 500 pixels width 500 pixels width 500 pixels width uh, next uh, let us display some alternative text if the image is not displayed due to any sort of problem uh, then this uh, text will get displayed image not displayed okay now let us run the program uh, whether this image is uh, uh, displaying or not yeah there is no problem here we got the image uh, now uh, let us do some modifications yeah let us do some modifications now uh, that is uh, uh, let us change the name of the file to js1 with js1 uh, no file no file is there so we don't get any output now so now alternative test got displayed image not displayed okay uh, now execute on error event execute on error event so when on error event will get executed if the image is not displayed due to any sort of problem then on error event will get executed so let us define a function with the name hi with the name hi now let us display some alert box alert box so yellow tough hi yellow tough yellow tough hi yellow tough hi now let us close the function now let us close the function here with the name js1 no image is there so there is a problem of while loading the image so on error event will get executed on error equal to high so high function definition will get executed yeah if you observe here here we have a uh, uh, alert box with the message high with the message high okay so this is about uh, on error event okay so uh, where we need to call the on error event while loading an image or while loading a document okay now let us see about uh, the next event uh, that is on click event on click event finds whenever user clicks on any element it may be any element so paragraph element or button element or image element or header element or some uh, uh, body tag element italic tag element on any element if you click on your particular element then on click event will get executed okay uh, now instead of the body tag let us use the paragraph tag element so p on click is equal to on click is equal to let us call hi function uh, so click on me so here the test is click on me so not only paragraph we can use button or any other control also there is no problem okay now let us run the program so here we have a, a click on me paragraph let us click on this one so if you click on the paragraph then we got the alert box uh, because of on click event so whenever we click on the paragraph then on click event will get executed on click is equal to high so high function definition got executed now now let us see the next event uh, that is uh, mouse events on mouse move so on mouse move event will finds whenever the user moves the mouse over an element so if we move the mouse over an element it may be any element paragraph element or image element or button uh, image it is our choice next on mouse over event uh, finds wherever the user brings the mouse over an element so when we when we places the mouse over an element then on mouse over element will get executed next on mouse out event finds wherever the user takes the mouse away from the element so here we have three mouse events on mouse move event finds whenever we, we move the mouse on an element uh, whereas on mouse over finds wherever the user brings the mouse over an element on mouse out event finds wherever the user takes the mouse away from the element okay so we have uh, three mouse events so let us uh, execute uh, uh, those events uh, uh, by by taking an image why why because here image means uh, we have uh, a b uh, bigger uh, canvas so img src equal to so d colon uh, wt folder name of the file is uh, js.png js.png uh, height is uh, height is uh, let the height is 500 
next let the width is also 500 500 so on mouse on mouse move equal to let us execute a high function let us call high function on mouse move okay control s let us run the program let us run the program yeah if you move the if he places the if he move the mouse if he move the mouse over the image then what will happen on mouse move will, will get executed so on mouse move equal to high so the talent box got printed okay now in place of on mouse move let us place on mouse over on mouse over uh, next uh, let us have one more uh, function uh, one more event on mouse out equal to on mouse out equal to let name of the function is hello hello so let us have one more function let us have one more function control c let name of the function is hello so when hello will get executed when the mouse cursor is placed away from the element if we move the mouse cursor uh, away from the element then on mouse out event will get fired let us run the application now let us run the application yeah if we move if, if he places the mouse over an element then on mouse over event will get executed and high function got executed next next on mouse we have on mouse over also in order to execute the on mouse over on mouse out uh, let us remove this function let us remove this function on mouse out so what is on mouse out function definition hello hello let us run the program now yeah yeah and uh, now if the mouse cursor is over an element then no alert box got printed whereas if you move the mouse away from the element then on mouse forward will get executed i'm sorry on mouse out will get executed so when on mouse out event will get fired when the when we move the mouse cursor away from the element then on mouse out will get executed and the alert box got printed alert box contains some high message so here what is the alert box high message now let us see the uh, remaining uh, controls next one is on focus event on blur event on focus event fights when an element gains the focus whereas on blur event fights when an element lost the focus so mainly we use on focus and uh, on blur while working with uh, uh, text boxes so let us create the text box now input type equal to text input type equal to text next on focus equal to hello so whenever we places the cursor in the text box then what will happen whenever we places the cursor in the text box then on the focus event will get fired on focus equal to hello so hello function definition that is the talent box will get printed so let us see the program so whenever we places the cursor in the text box then what will happen yeah so let us see the program some error is there on focus equal to on input type equal to test on focus equal to hello yeah there is no mistake next to function hello function hello yeah, let us see the where, where is there input type equal to text on focus on focus equal to hello yeah hello no problem is there so input tag, input tag is closed as well as body tag is closed in the script section so function hello let us save the program one more time yeah now let us run the program yeah some error is there so here what is the element here what is the event on focus and on blur event yeah 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 let us uh, uh, let us uh, input type equal to test let us type one more time on focus equal to on focus equal to let name of the function is high on focus equal to high so function function high function high yeah uh, now let us uh, see the output yeah whenever uh, the text box gains the focus whenever the text box gain the focus whenever we places the cursor in the text box then on focus event uh, will get executed then uh, that automatically that alert box got printed now let us see about on blur event on blur 
So in place of focus, let us write blur. So when on blur event will get executed, whenever an element leaves the focus, that means whenever uh, whenever we have uh, uh, taken the cursor away from the text box, then on blur event will get executed. Okay. Let us see the output here. Yeah. Let us type some data in the text box. Sudhakar. So whenever uh, uh, we move this cursor away from the text box, okay, then on blur event will get executed. Okay. Yeah, now the cursor is in the text box. So whenever we have taken the cursor away from the text box, then on blur event will get executed. Now let us see two more events. On submit and on reset event. On submit event files, whenever we click on the submit button, whereas on reset event files, whenever we click on the reset button. So here, uh, now we have to create a form. Uh, let us have a form. So form, form, on submit on submit equal to on submit equal to hello hello next on reset equal to hi now we need to define the two functions yeah we need to create two buttons the first two button is what submit button so input input type equal to submit input type equal to submit next value is equal to submit so if we click on this uh, submit button then on submit event will get executed so hello alert box will get displayed next if we click on this reset button input type equal to input type equal to reset value equal to reset if we click on this reset button then on reset button uh, uh, on reset uh, event will get executed now we need to define one more function control c so what is that function hello let us define hello function hello function so function hello let us modify the function definition to hello so if you click on the submit button then what will happen hello function definition will get executed if you click on the reset button then high function definition will get executed now let us run the program let us run the program yeah let us run the program let us click on the submit button so whenever we click on the submit button then on submit event will get executed on submit equal to hello so hello function definition hello alert box got printed okay hello alert box got displayed okay if you see here hello okay uh, next uh, let us click on the uh, reset button reset button if you click on the reset button then what will happen on reset event uh, will get executed so high function definition got executed so this is about uh, uh, events in javascript so these are these 10 are the most commonly used events in javascript